Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues in which we're playing as the Arbog Junta led by Viscount O'Brien, a cruel tyrant but they have a generic focus tree but gift of our forefathers. Our forefathers were simple yet wise men working the land and seeking a better living for the children. Their hard work and determination gave us a nation where that will be forever thankful in defense of the homestead. Firepower caps resources. All essential to life in the wasteland, and that applies to our nation as well. Survive, we had to focus our efforts and dedicate ourselves to a single common purpose. Followed up with, well, what will we become? But, what our forefathers gave us. Every settlement. It was built on the backs of those who came before and those who managed to escape a living by the ruins of the old world. We were defined by what it was that our forefathers left behind for us while we can never repay them. Remember where it was that we came from will help us look into our future. Clean water. Factories. Firepower. I think for now, I mean, we have a pretty okay amount of core population. Um, we have guns. Actually, we've got a decent amount of factories already. I do want to go to war with the Darned as fast as possible. So, I think we'll go with... Because we're up north, let's go with clean water. Because we could use a lot of clean water in the north. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, the wasteland lays before us. Salvage. Untamed, degenerate, and cruel. We must seek purpose. Look at the entirety of a blasted nation ahead of us in tame it. We'll honor our forefathers and survive. Not only survive, but thrive. And make the impossible come true after the apocalypse. What kind of city are we? Any settlement. We're worth a darn is it something that does particularly well. Booze, water, guns, you name it. Someone's out there doing it and making it and killing while doing it. But folks like us, we think big picture. We do half a dozen things really well. It's how you stay on top. It's how you become a hotspot settlement. A mercenary army. City of Vice. Sell whatever we want. Um, salvage, salvage, salvage. So, um, with this campaign, I want to go with the support the people. Because you get a lot of political power. Plus, 0.5 political power is really good. And you get better just five wiggles time, so... I think it'd be good to go with the City of Vice. We sell whatever someone wants, just because you get more political power and just five Wurgle Stones on us. So let's do that one. Rock to Palisade, um, center of the community. We have fun in the schools, but what will we become? That's a question on everyone's lips. What will we become? Do, who do we want to be? Every settlement is a little different. Most just want to be safe. They want it. The raiders stop coming. They want the mutants to leave the area. And they want the water to stay clean. But us, we know you can't get there without greater ambitions. So become advanced, powerful, wealthy. Just five Wurgle Stones. I do want to go to war, but let's do wealthy. Political reorganization. As we begin to realize how truly awful the wasteland is, we must look into every aspect of our society to make sure it survives. Our political system cannot be left aside in time of strife. It's time to act. So we get 1.39 every single day. We're already justifying, or not justifying, but we're getting ready to go to war with these guys. Because I don't know how good they are, I don't know how bad they are, but something tells me that I want to go to war with them as fast as possible against Gristle. So, it's going to take a long time to get there, though. Mean dudes, huh? Formal tribals. They don't have a lot of manpower. They have, up to, they have roughly the same amount of divisions we do. They might have a little more. Uh, but the Darned have... A raider generic focus tree, so it's not bad. Which means they can't get too advanced. Technologically speaking, for us at the very least, we're in the middle of the pack, like normal. You know, like a normal nation. Um, after this, support the people. Our people are our strength. From the worker to the farmer, the engineer to the soldier, they all form the very core of our nation. It's time we give them the political strength they deserve. It's time that common man rise up and lead our nation into prosperity. Long live our country. Council of the people. Our people are now united under common cause. Every voice has a say and our society is more unified than ever. With citizens having a say in everyday politics, the living standard slowly improves, and within the stability of our country, more than ever militias are bolstered, dozens of citizens enlisting to protect their peaceful home. Never shall we be broken, our nation shall stand. Loyalty of the people. As the trust of the council rises, so does the faith of the people in our political system. Such a support from the youngest child to the oldest elderly, let our council benefit from great power and changing our government, allowing us faster changes to our policies. The nation stands by us, and we shall not disappoint, as we're going to go and justify and get ready to go to war with them. And we'll get those focuses done. Um, what's next? Uh, erecting a palisade. We cannot afford to target and destroy th uh, threats effectively without casualties. We simply do not have the training as an intermediate measure until we can better train our military forces. We'll teach them entrenchment strategies, such as mowing fire uh, tactics to keep enemies at bay, as well as proper trench digging procedures. Uh, Funding the schools. The nation is only strong as its weakest citizen, and everyone knows it's not just power. Massive undertaking to have both children and adults able to educate themselves from scavenged books and teaching classes will let a nation better itself intellectually, which can only lead to new breakthroughs and establish a laboratory. Giving our scientists and engineers dedicated buildings and equipment in which they can experiment and think will considerably improve their work conditions, allowing them to work on more projects at the same time and increasing their intellectual output.
And, well, that took forever and was very, 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 very annoying. But whatever, we've done quite a few focuses, such as militia commanders. <clears throat> Give a command of a militia squad to train veterans while officers are already having frontline experience to deploy along the troops, increasing their effectiveness and letting our command staff understand the requirement of intense battle better than anyone else. Militia drills. Improve drill structuring and trimming of unnecessary parts of it, as well as streamlining the training program given across the country. Overseen now by veterans and trained personnel will yield a noticeable increase in the speed at which we can form a militia. It's the utmost importance that we keep an edge on field of manpower over our enemies. <coughs> Excuse me, militia organization. A reorganization of our command staff as well as division structure will yield increased tactical efficiency during battle. Such measures will let our troops fight more effectively and maintain formation longer in the face of overwhelming odds given time for reinforcements. Militia recruitment posters. Making our most trained personnel or elite units into larger than life soldiers portrayed as tough, professional, and ruthless will let us make effective propaganda. Showing these commandos ready to take on and defeat any enemy will both reassure our population and inspire them to, into enlisting in our militia. Recruit caravan guards. More and more commercial convoys pass through our cities, and we have noticed a curious thing. Guards assigned to them are not actually employees, but mercenaries. Promising them a place to stay and better work contracts than their merchant employers will also recruit them into our army, bolstering their ranks with trained professionals. Hard gunsmiths. The dire need for more firepower can be resolved in quite a simple way. Sending messengers throughout our nation to recruit any available gunsmith into our armed forces will both increase our manufacturing capabilities and bring their small arms expertise into our ranks. Subsidized weapon manufacturers. Massive investments into local weaponsmiths will let them recruit more people, expand their operations, and acquire advanced equipment. In return, we will benefit from weaponry provided at a reduced bulk rate, and a priority in any firearm batch over private citizens, and establish an armory. Establishing a centralized armory building in every city will center, well, <clears throat> simplify supplies, increase access to ammo, and give a better working space for our military industry, as well as an emergency location for our militia members to go in case of enemy attack, as we do have quite a few infantry divisions now. And because of that last war, which took forever, we actually are pretty far along with infantry perks, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Field fortifications, you know what? Let's rush it a little bit more. I don't mind spending a little bit of army speed for something like that. Um, I do want special op special operations division, so... Because <clears throat> these guys will be the main guys that actually do end up attacking. We do did create an airbase here as well, which would give us some planes. I also have gone ahead and already cored these two places here. Southern Dam Array and Northern Dam Array. Um, so yeah, if we can, we will core things as fast as possible. That's why I went with as much political power every single day. Two and a half is a ton. And as you can tell probably by the speed of my voice, I do have a cup of coffee here as well. So, there go, sister says, steel, go, goodbye. Nice. And we are already just flying on the Gateway Gang. We've got about 10 days left for them, too, which is awesome. So, we'll do that one. Encourage women to serve, standardize the military, of course. Uh, our militias use vast amounts of different different equipment, be it firearms, armor, even some supply and food. Creating and standardizing a basic armament and supply kit will simplify our uh, supply line considerably and reduce the strength both felt during defensive and offensive operations. Oh, it's not bad. Come over here for more construction speed, which would be great, great, great. We can go to war immediately for them, which would be awesome, awesome, awesome. We've got a lot of things we want to do and produce, so let's go ahead and do this. Yay, see what happens. We can't do anything yet about them yet. Oh, boy. Um, take all but you go there. If we can do that, that'd be great. We should have air superiority anyways. I can't imagine that they would, but if we struggle, then we struggle. You know, it is what it is. But encourage women to serve. Everyone should be able to serve. The women of our nation are still afraid, for they think that the war should be left to men. We will show them that they can destroy the enemy and defend their nation as well. Sniper training, infiltration tactics, sapper drills, and they will kill a raider just as effectively as any man, and center of the community. We're going to help expand outward without looking inward. The center of our nation is a peaceful community composed of hardworking civilians to take care of them and increase their industrial capacity. We'll begin an expansion program of our core city. More factories, more space for people, and even more development. We're slowly getting there, but this is going to take a long time. That's why we need special operations forces, because doing stuff like this is going to take forever. And it is what it is. It's, it's meant to take forever, but still. Nice. There we go. There we go. And... It's option armor, because we could use more arms factories, too. It's not bad. I'm going to go down to two for now. We still want like, some planes, some demo equipment, you know, stuff like that. That would be very, very good. You guys go here to here. Recovery rate, that's actually pretty darn decent. Um, he's already at level 4 general. He's level 3 uh, field marshal. Pretty good. Senate amount of prospectors, consumer goods, um, technology stuff. Get more stability. Stability is going to be crucial in what we do here. So, 80s have done that, which is good. At least get up there so then we can really open up um, the front line. That's my main goal here. Open it up. Start attacking this so they cannot move themselves, which would be good, good, good. Come on, come on, come on. Let's have trade routes. So increase our commercial trades and lay the foundation for future endeavors in those matters. We'll spend time in cap stores improving our roads and rail trails, leading to and from our cities. Brought them combo as well as trail walkers can now travel more easily inside our territory, and with them, profits should hopefully follow. 
I kind of want to force attack, but just for these guys, no one else. Um, over here, we're going to wait for radio anyways, get some more output or, you know, cap and growth. Which would be very, very good. You guys can go and do that anyways. We'd have an okay amount of manpower. Once we core more stuff, I mean, it'll get easier and easier and easier. It's going to take some time for this one. 82 is pretty good, though. I'm not going to lie. Get over there, too. You will help out right here. Because you will immediately begin pushing out that way. If you can. Six divisions is quite a bit. You keep helping them there. Getting tired out. Normal. Go ahead and move up the infantry brigade right there, too. Help them from stopping attack these divisions. Because once we break through, they're done. Good flyboy. <clears throat> That'll be good. Uh, go and send you this way as well. <coughs> Subption armory. Uh, Why send settlers arrive? Word is spread of our expansion with more settlers arriving at the quest of a safe haven and a peaceful home. We could use more workers, and so we shall welcome them with open arms. Planet Wall. Further research into advanced outposts to construction as well as a streamlined design, both integrating into the desert environment and sturdy enough to resist small arms fire, will us construct military outposts at a much faster rate to protect our territory. Excuse me, guys. I told you to move. Like, you have to move. There is no waiting here. We have to move. Uh, let's see if we can go there. Maybe if we can get to the pass, that'd be great. So we can circle these, all these guys. Uh huh. Uh huh. <coughs> I should be able to take that one up there too. Should is a good word. Doing a tiny bit of damage, getting more armories, which is very very nice. So at least then settlers arrive as well. Oh, that is not good if we lose here. You have got to hold out. You are going to stop attacking like that because you're going to help attack right there and you're going to help move over here too. Should be able to break over there. Um, what else? We got 68 army XP, 89 is not bad. Of course, we could get in circle right there as well, which would not be pretty good, but that's why they're moving up here too. Let's get here. Move up there. God, I hate using infantry. <coughs> wow, we've lost a lot of guys. 700 some? It's not really worth it. You know, infantry just is so god awful. Come on. Come on. That's why we've got to recruit and pour as much as we possibly can. Special forces are just overpowered compared to infantry. They shouldn't do that much damage compared to what they actually do. But whatever. It's always a new balancing thing that the devs have to focus on. But once these guys are done, we should just be able to blow through them all. And then, in the meantime, I should be able to core. I'm going to record that. This. Should. Old world wall holds. Very nice. Come on. God, I hate these guys so much. Force it. Force it. Force it. Put you right at the top. Just throw special forces in there together for now. My god. They need to either buff infantry slightly, or they need to nerf special forces slightly. They really do. How? It's a single infantry division doing that. No. Well, alright, you wanna do that? Can we go around them? No, we cannot. God dang it. Whatever. What matters is still get them encircled and destroyed. That's the most important thing. Use that anyways. It's fine. Yeah, no, you're gonna force the attack. Like I understand what they're thinking. I honestly don't care how much manpower it takes to kill these guys off. I really don't. Force it. Cause this is six divisions here and they gotta die. We're gonna have really high casualties, but you know what? It is what it is. What else are you supposed to do with it? Oh, uh, with uh, infantry. There's nothing you can do. You have to do it like this. Um, your description might as well. This is ridiculous. These guys aren't any good anyways. They're just infantry. And we did go conventional as you did see. So, what a waste of time. But we'll see. And after the mess, that was uh, the Gateway Gang. Gateway Gang. Uh, we're gonna go to war with these guys down here uh, with uh, Rupert's Land Trading Company. As we encourage women to serve in the military because they need to die like men. 
Don't quote me on that one. Um, finalized defenses? The priority is the protection of our population, Sandy Center. As such, multiple intervening lives of lines of defenses will be established around its outer perimeter. We cannot allow the enemy to break through this massacre of people. We'll never let it happen. Our stand will be done here, not one step back, from the garage. Well, the garage is a form around the country dealing with the restoration and even manufactured vehicles as such to make assets or valuable assets both from a mechanical expertise and experience dealing with power packs as well as engines. We should fund those garages to let them continue the operations, gaining us some additional workshops in the process. Uh, we are throwing a lot of divisions over here. Um, I, we have been struggling though a little bit, you know, to be honest with y'all. Yeah, definitely struggling a little bit, but let's see what we can do against these guys. Did they immediately attack us? No. Well, let's try to be slightly smart and attack here. And go down there and take you guys. We'll go do that too. And send happy guys over there as well. And it's going to help support the attack. And then support the attack. And then support the attack. Hopefully cut off these enemy divisions. They do have some special forces as well, which sucks. We did spend a lot of manpower. And we're currently on two-year conscription. But hopefully as we core more stuff, we should do okay in the future. Um, we do have a little bit of anti-tank, which is nice too. But still. And... Come on. Let's go. Let's get down there too. Let's support the attack as well. Special Force is leading the way, we should do alright. But then again, these guys are not that big yet. Um, get them at least 18 combo at the very minimum. Oh, we can't do that, darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Only 12, eh? Well, so be it. You can demo and anti tank for now, too. Wait, were we attacking there? Wait, what? Head in if you can. And then, uh, we're doing, like, no damage, because we have no planes. God dang it. Okay. Yeah, we could use more factories. Then again, that's, like, every campaign until we get to the end game. We could really use more factories. I'm not going to attack here. If we start seeing these guys move, we'll start attacking from this direction, too. You know, they really want to weaken their defenses. It's three and three. These guys are the weakest ones we have to fight so far. Um, send half you guys here. I'll attack there. Go back in. No, you're not moving. I cannot allow it. There you go. Immediately move into there. You immediately attack there too. Good. Get all the way down there. Two hundred foot of power is very nice though. Main prospectors because we have three hundred twenty-two caps. Um, we're also going to grab what? Infrastructure's okay. I don't mind infrastructure. That's okay. You know, stuff's okay. It's not great. Um, infrastructure's alright. We did encourage women to serve. Robots, power, armor. Not going to be using that. Demo equipment. That one's okay. Ballistic energy stuff. You know what? Let's go Freeman's Fixers. Infrastructure, why not? Oh, wow. They're really uh, limiting themselves here, eh? Aren't they? Alright, all road tactics. Uh, actually, bung in the garage first. <coughs> Inspiration taken from old data uh, terminals and military manuals will be put to use in improving our armed forces. All road tactics are effective if too crude for the wasteland. Combining them with skirmishing and guerrilla strategies will survival training will make our army into a capable fighting force. Fallback tactics. Specialized recon troops constantly scouting our rear lines for retreat routes as well as pre planned reinforced defensive positions behind the front line will make our forces able to tactically retreat under covering fire instead of simply running as fast as possible and soloing their underwear. Because no one likes having... Well, okay, maybe I shouldn't say no one likes soloing their underwear, but you know, most people don't. I don't. I personally don't, but, you know, I guess I'm not everybody. You never know. You might, might find some weirdos out there that do like to soil it. Um, in the meantime... You two come up here. Come out. Go all the way down. As long as they don't start moving around. Nope. Hit him there. Uh, give them a loan. I'm fine with giving loans, because they'll give us our money back anyway, so. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Go, 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 go. And we're almost there. Yeah, we got them. Beautiful. And we'll just do general attack, and then just come all out that way. Should be nice. Alright. So, we're going to need a new general, which means no training time, better than training instructors. We probably want to go a little higher up here. Um, Battle Hardened Soldiers, even though I do want to core this territory as well. Let's go at least to level 1. And then I want to core this. Well, can't quite core it yet. You know what, screw it. There. I don't got someone else. Um, 
Damage reduction against cast. Black Sun goes up way more, though. Oh, God. Uh, is that really worth it? I'm not really sure if that's percent really worth it, but whatever. Alright, so you guys. Give me you. You're gonna be inspirational. Special forces, where are you? Let's back up a second. Nice. And grab some Oradio. Oradio. You guys can go right there and go right there. I'm gonna send half the team over there anyways with you. You're gonna do that. Special forces are doing a great job. Thank god we got special forces now. Throw you guys over there too. Do a good job. You know, don't suck. You know, like normal. And oh you didn't shoot up the move, god dang it. There you go. Leave the special forces, but use infantry to help support the attack. And come down here. Once we get there, the game is auto saving. Thank you very much. Go right there. And we beat him up anyways. Oh god dang, just go in. They're pretty much done anyways. Old world tactics. Standardize tools. Get some of that because you can. Um, we can go by the next one. Finalize the defenses. I don't know this one, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I already read this one. So you're this again, please go right ahead. Transportation vehicles. Multiple personal transportation vehicles are in use throughout our cities. It'd be a shame not to put this to use. A general demand for design proposals and mechanical studies and other machines will give ideas for our own engineers. And possibly yielding improved motorized, motorized designs for our troops. Hey, not bad. How much do we need to core this tile? 94, which is actually not bad. We're going to core it anyways, because we can. And there you go. And the red earth. That's a lot of resources here. Big Dan Doraville. It's not bad. That's actually a pretty good amount of time before we have to go to war. Actually, very good. Give us time to recover, train, all that good stuff. Lord of Winter is okay. Tw only 20% quad acclimatization game factor is alright. It's not worth it. <clears throat> At least in my opinion, but then again, who am I? I wouldn't mind going though with experience social loss, but it's only 10% awareness. And we have no recon on them right now. I mean, eventually we will, so we'll go with this one, because we, we do take quite a few casualties still. Which is not good, but you know, whatever. Old World Blues? God, story of our lives, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. About transportation vehicles, finalized defenses, we'll do these two as well. Um, of course, fallback tactics. It would also be good to do as well. Point defense strategy. Point defense strategy is designated as such because of its operating requirements. Multiple camouflage outwards outposts armed with long range weaponry and off the beaten path will both harass enemy troops from afar and give advanced warning as to their composition and strength. Tactical awareness and mapping. Integrating map awareness and tactical battlefield thinking into the training regiment of our command staff and recon sergeant will make them able to direct our troops more effectively and know they're running better. We will. Um, let them move and strike in rapid fashion as well as organizing ambushes and traps leaving no respect to the enemy. March and drills. Well, I prefer to refer to it as improved physical and tactical drills, a frackin' born walk. As soldiers come to call it, aim to improve their strategic mobility via better resilience and faster march. Being slightly more swift than the enemy will always be an advantage worth having, and long distance movements. Expanding upon our marching drills, we manage to improve it as we also also maintain tactical awareness, combat stances, and proper battle spacing during long walks. As such, our troops are more ready to face an enemy counterattack or immediately join an assault without having to stop and regroup. Yay. So we got that one cord. I love the corp here because they will go to war with us and go crazy with us too up here. Or else I'll go to war with them. Um, this will be a very good core. That's okay to core. It's okay to core. It's not worth the this one, but you know, it's close. Um, here, we've got some more manpower. I love manpower. I don't love man, but you know, love manpower. I'm just be able to do a general attack. Maybe? I'll try it. Why not? Oh, they're doing force defense too. Oh boy. Yeah, they're definitely going to be crumbling, hopefully, around here ish. Fallback tactics, better recovery rate. Oh, that's definitely a big thing that they're doing. Um, up here. Oh, they're a puppet of these guys. So it'd be one front line here. It's quite a few divisions. Um, over here might be better for us. They've only up to 14. We might be actually able to get a good breakthrough here. They're next. So that's not bad. 83 is nice. Very good. Good. Maybe just put like infantry here and, and special forces go up north and just special forces can focus on Balin and stuff like that. So we'll see. We'll see what we're thinking and feeling. Eh, not bad. Right there. Up next, where are we at? 41%. Not enough yet. Eh, we'll get special forces. Why not? Uh, 
Oh, obviously we'll never build all these roads up. Get all this infrastructure up, that's alright. Come here, and we'll get this one. Nice. We'll get more special forces, too. That'd be good. Refugees, you know what? Go and assimilate some of them. It, we have, like, if it was only 17. That was worth Not worth it, but whatever. Whatever. We can do it, because we have so much PP. I, I mean, that's... General Focus G, if you want PP, two and a half a day is strong, is all heck, as you can tell. Very, 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 very strong. So, uh, that's it. Very, very good, so... Theater farmers. Organizing a deeper farming system, relying on simple backyard gardens will allow every family to feed themselves to a small extent. Thus, the industry in our agriculture system and letting your population grow their uh, food supply. But I think we'll end it there. We've done really well in the first episode. We've really expanded our territory. We've got more population and industry. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. As we'll see what else we can do with our boy Junta. Or Junta. Junta. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.